Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. Hello Saturday Social, I'm Ben Foster. Welcome to my weekly vlog where we talk all things football. Also, welcome to my back garden. By the way, in the last video, a lot of you were getting in the comments and saying I need to water my grass. I'm not having it. What are you on about? I think it looks sweet, isn't it? Anyway, no Premier League football this weekend, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because international football, if you're an England fan, is going particularly well at this moment in time. The three Lions are fully, fully roaring. Hungry away is a difficult place to go. They are no pushovers. They will make it incredibly intimidating, incredibly difficult. But the boys rose above every single bit of it. The first half, we had to be patient. My gosh, did we have to be patient. But the second half, the lads came out, the Hungarians tired. We took full advantage. Four goals, three points, a fantastic performance. Gareth and the boys on fire. Now, dare we, dare we start to believe that we can go one step further in the Euros and actually go and win the thing? I'm doing it, I'm jumping head first into fully believing we're gonna bring it home this time round. Now, talking of the international break, I've got to mention this guy. He's a record breaker. He probably already is a record breaker for sure. However, CR7 has just broken the world record for most international goals scored for his country. He's just scored his 110th and 111th goal for Portugal. The guy is an absolute phenom. Can we talk in particular about his second goal? The one where his body's at this weird angle, yet still even though he's off balance, he looks solid as a rock. He gets the ball, boom, straight in the corner. There was never any doubt, breaking those Republic of Ireland hearts. What a shame. However, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to do that all season long. We know how good he is with the ball at his feet. We know he can score world-class goals. But you put that ball in the air, and I don't know if there's many better people at attacking the ball. Now, I've got to say a big goodbye and a big good luck to a few of my Watford teammates who have just left the club in the recent transfer window. The likes of Will Hughes, Andre Gray, Nathaniel Shalaber, and the captain, Troy Deeney. I don't know quite how you are going to fill the void that you guys have left behind. However, I've got to say, I'm going to miss you personally, but I wish you good luck in your next clubs. Guys, thank you for having me. As always, I will see you next weekend. Enjoy the football. Stay safe. See you soon.